Hello everyone, my name is Kanak Manjuri. I am a PhD research scholar in Bennett University. Uh, I am here to explain about my project that is object detection using deep reinforcement learning. As you all know, object detection means detection of any object from a given image or from any video. And reinforcement learning. Reinforcement learning means uh, uh, learning something suppose there was a child so a child learns itself uh, uh, slowly how to walk or how to eat or something first uh, the child takes time to learn but after certain steps after some time the child gets uh, uh, trained how to do it so basically uh, first of all uh, this is just the introduction like object detection images guided by a deep reinforcement learning. So what is deep reinforcement learning? Deep reinforcement learning is uh, approximation of the Q values through neural network. So deep reinforcement learning is the combination of neural network plus reinforcement learning. As we all know, neural network is the architecture of neurons like uh, input layer, output layer, hidden layer. So we have certain uh, pre-trained models, VGG, etc. So we use those models or those networks and combine them with reinforcement learning, that is deep reinforcement learning. So these are the related works which have been already done uh, in this field. Uh, so as you can see, region proposals or sliding window plus detector, second is sharing convolution over location plus detector, third one is sharing convolutions over location and also to the det detector, and fourth one is single shot detectors. So these works have been done in the year 2013 to 15 simultaneously. Also, uh, the first two works, they rely on large number of locations. So basically, they depend upon locations. And the second two work, they rely on a number of reference boxes from which uh, this uh, uh, bounding boxes are regressed. Now, this is the uh, summary of that. So, so far, we can cluster object detection pipeline on how the regions analyzed are obtained either using object proposals or using reference boxes anchors to be potentially regressed. And third op um, approach is <coughs> refine iteratively one initial bounding box. So what is deep Q network? As I have already told you, in deep Q network, neural network is used to approximate the Q values. So we provide state and action to the network that can be any network that can be VGG or some other and it gives us the Q value. So in my project, uh, the problem is casted as so obviously mark or decision process in that there are two types of actions. First action is movement action. That means to which of the five possible reason, regions defined by hierarchy to move. Top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right and the center. These are the five possible reasons, regions where bounding boxes can move and the second action is terminal action that means if an agent finds the object then it terminates now for training we have used these uh, hyperparameters we have used exploration exploitation uh, trade-off we have used as uh, use epsilon greedy policy where first epsilon is one and then it decreases until epsilon equals to 0 0.1 training parameters uh, are initialized using normal distribution and an optimizer is used experience re replays of size 1000 with a batch of 100 and discount factor is gamma equals to 0 0.90 now i have uh, used pascal voc data set it has uh, images of various uh, objects out of which i have uh, used the images of cow and images of dogs uh, to create the models and i have tested so after using uh, for T training and testing also I have used Pascal VOC dataset. So uh, for as you can see, this is the result of testing um, the model I have trained using this uh, algorithm. And this one is the testing of dogs images using this algorithm. Thank you. So now I want to show you the code. So for training, I have implemented this using 
PyTorch. So these are the libraries you need to import OS, NumPy, Torch Vision, fine, Matplotlib. And these are the files which have uh, Python files, image helper, parse, XML notations, features, reinforcement, metrics. So these are already built where different functions are built which we will be using in train and test files. So as you can see this is the path. Uh, this is the model which we need to download. So we have used VG16. This is the Adam optimizer. This is for testing training purpose. We are using uh, certain uh, training validation. So this is an example. Uh, suppose if we take the object of aeroplane. So aeropl aeroplane train validation is the folder name and this is the path VOC which is this and then this load images names in data set load images levels in data set these are the functions which are built in these python files now this is the function of replay buffer which i have already specified that means we use a certain amount of memory that that is a fixed size that we have fixed as 1000 this is the epsilon batch size gamma class object that is airplane has is of belongs to class one steps e epoch and replay memory of thousand size this is the optimizer model this is the action selection this is the training of the model fine so uh, it is a it it is like uh, as i have already told you suppose if uh, there is a movement action so it will move from one to sec first to second second to third third to fourth fourth to fifth until it um, detects the object and if, if it detects the object then it will terminate now i have saved the model fine now for testing also we will have to import these uh, libraries and for this we have uh, i have used airplane test data and the path is given same function is used now i have loaded the model which i have saved after training now this is the class object is one for aeroplane similarly for cow and dog uh, the class different will be different class object will be different fine so that is mentioned in parse parse xml notation file this is uh, this is uh, the uh, code of bound, creating bounding boxes, boxes by models agent suppose it finds the uh, um, object then it will create the bounding box and this is the same thing this this will show the de detection result so this is the airplane and so you can see it is creating the bounding box across the airplane images fine now this is the curve precision recall curve and this is the number of regions analyzed per object so here our features.py image helper.py as you can also see what is inside this in features.py we are able to uh, download the vgg file so this is get vgg16 which I have mentioned here get vgg16 this function is we are getting from features.py fine then image helper.py we have load image data load images in data set load images in data set so these are these functions load images levels in data set load images these are these functions in main.py we are defining the different uh, conditions saving of model this is a option of training either you can use main.py or train.py this is metrics.py these are the find maximum bounding box follow iou these are these functions which are used in train.py this is get bounding box of gt from pascal examiner notation this is mentioned here and these are the classes these are the uh, classes objects which are in pascal voc data set airplane bicycle bird boat bottle bus car cat chair cow dining table dog horse motorbike person pot plant sheep sofa train tv monitor these are the classes uh, uh, which belongs to pascal voc they have the in different types of images and annotated images of these classes so for airplane class na uh, name is what class is one and for 
cow class is 10 for dog class is 12 so this is it so i hope uh, you got to know what uh, i did and what data set i have used uh, which neural network i have used uh, vg16 and um, uh, i have combined uh, neural network with reinforcement learning so deep neural network i have used so um, i hope you you understood it uh, thank you so much Thank you.